Thanks, Jenna. Time now for your Hollywood headlines. Jay-Z is responding to criticism of his recent trip to Cuba through music. The rapper reportedly has recorded a track that appears to take on critics of his recent trip to Cuba with wife Beyonce. In his newly released song, Open Letter, Jay-Z seems to suggest he got the green light from the White House to travel with his wife, Queen Bee, to the communist country. The famous duo decided to head to Cuba to celebrate their fifth wedding anniversary, although Cuba is currently under a U.S. travel embargo. White House spokesperson Jay Carney says President Obama had nothing to do with this matter and it was the Treasury Department that approved the trip. Well, Reebok is giving rapper Rick Ross the boot over heavily, heavily criticized lyrics. The sportswear company has ended its relationship with Ross over the continued issues surrounding his most recent song that seems to promote date rape. The sneaker brand said in a statement yesterday, Reebok holds our partners to a high standard and we expect them to live up to the values of our brand. Unfortunately, Rick Ross has failed to do so. Ross responded to outrage over the song earlier this month by tweeting he doesn't condone rape and apologized for the lyrics being interpreted as rape. In the end, Reebok striked back, stating while they don't think the rapper condones sexual assault, they're not happy with the way he handled the situation. Yet another remake is coming down the pipeline, and this time it's blockbuster Point Break. While everything old seems to be new again, Point Break, the movie starring Keanu Reeves and the late Patrick Swayze, is getting rejigged. The 1991 thriller was directed by Oscar winner Catherine Bigelow, but the new adaptation will be directed by Erickson Kaur. Kaur is best known for films like Fast and the Furious and Daredevil. According to Alcon Entertainment, the new Point Break flick is set in the world of international extreme sports. And like the original, there's an undercover FBI agent who falls in with a crime ring. Crime ring production is set to start before the end of the year. And that's the first look at your Entertainment City on this Friday morning. Catch the second edition coming up just after 8. And be sure to weigh in on all the latest celebrity gossip on Twitter at NCity. Be sure to tune in Monday morning for next week's new L'Oreal Paris Look of the Week and for your chance to win a L'Oreal gift basket with all the products to recreate Hollywood glamour at home.